Hello everyone. Well, isn't this fun? We find ourselves in situations and we just have to make the best of it. And that's what I am here to do for you. I want to make sure that you're getting as much good nutrition into your family as possible during this time. I've noticed a really bad trend of people who are buying in bulk in the grocery stores. And while we have lots of reasons why it's prudent to stock up for a month, two months plus what we need to do, Buying processed foods and frozen ready-made dinners is really not the best choice in my opinion, especially if um, you're raw vegan like I am. Wow, that, that really hurts my stomach to even think about it. What's gonna be happening to these poor people who are eating this stuff on a constant basis? So I wanna give you guys as many ideas as possible to make sure you have as much fresh produce as possible for your family through the following weeks. Oh, hi. Hi, Reba Cheap. That's Reba Cheap. I know it's been a long time since I've done these videos, so new family member. The first thing I wanna go over is anytime you are going to the store, you wanna make sure that anything you're bringing home is sanitized, and I don't just mean clean. This is not cleaning our produce, this is sanitizing it. You don't know whose hands were touching this, who could have probably blown their nose or coughed into their hand earlier. Maybe somebody coughed onto the food that was on display before you got it. You just don't know, and since we know that the coronavirus can live up to nine days on surfaces, you need to be sanitizing your food because it can't just sit on your counter waiting nine days for it to be clean for you to be able to touch it. You want to eat it before it spoils. So I have Basic G and I will have a link for that below. It is on back order, no surprise there, until April. So if you want it, make sure that you're on top of it as soon as it comes back into stock. This will kill the coronavirus within one minute as long as it remains wet. So you make your area wet and let it sit for one minute. Everything is okay for you to touch after that. And that is really great to do for our hard skin items. You gotta to wanna to be careful with your soft skin items. Wash it off afterwards. Don't just let it sit on your produce. Um, it is safe to stick in your mouth if you have to. So if there's any residue that's left over, it's no big deal. That is safe now that it's diluted down in its proper dilution. If you do not have something like the Basic H, please do not be cleaning your produce in straight Clorox or Lysol or other harmful chemicals that are going to leach into your food and then into your body. That is absolutely not the way to go. The coronavirus is also sensitive to temperature, so if you need to, this is going to shorten the life of your produce, but if you need to, dip it in very, very hot water, close to boiling water. Real quick, dip bath, clean and done. Okay, so that's your other alternative. I wanna show you some things that you need to be stocking up on to get the most shelf life out of your food. Apples have a good long shelf life. If you notice any with marks or bruising, eat those first. Apples will last on your counter, could be up to a month, so that's a good long life that you get out of those. Other things like mangoes are a lot more sensitive. You're gonna to need to eat those early on. Your bananas. Make sure that you are wrapping the top in plastic that slows down the ripening process and keep your bananas away from each other. If you're buying a lot of them, because you don't want to make a lot of trips to the store, I have bananas here and this is as close as I would get other bananas to it because they will ripen each other up faster. Things like your squashes have incredibly long shelf life, so stock up on those. Another thing that would be great to do, and I'll have a link for this as well, is get yourself a sprouting kit. These are so easy to grow and you have fresh greens within two to three days. It is that easy. All you have to do is add water and done. Another thing, and I'll find a link for you as well and put it below, is as many vegetables as you can regrow in water do it. Uh, onions are another easy one, the green onions. And there are many others that you can stick in water and get so much more out of them. I look, I already have a little stalk of celery there, and that's about a week old. So you can see from the newer one to the older one and how I'm getting more out of it. I'm getting so much more out of, of my money by doing that. And he has to sample all the water. Weepy cheap! Hi. 
longer. There are a lot of vegetables that can get kind of gross when you freeze them, and there are a lot that do really well, like asparagus. So know which vegetables that you can freeze, because if you go to the freezer section and you can't find the green beans and things like that you want, you might find them fresh and you can freeze them for yourself. Did you know that you can freeze the Mighty Avocado? Absolutely. So take the seed out, skin it, and then slice it up. You wanna use something like a food saver for this if you have one. If not, just get all the air absolutely possible as you can out of the bag. You can use a straw and help suck the air out of the bag before you zip it closed and put it in the freezer. And there you go, fresh avocado. that you can dry things like spinach and kale just put them as is in a freezer bag and freeze them on up and then grab a handful anytime you want a handful and throw it in your smoothie not going to be good for a salad because it's going to come out all wilted but it's fantastic for smoothies did you know you can also do this for your herbs here's basil that i have frozen from last year's summer's garden and all i have to do is grab a handful and throw it into whatever i'm making blend up my new sauce and I'm ready to go. If you have a dehydrator, please, please make use of it. You can actually dehydrate entire raw meals. If you've been on the Banana Commander's page, you'll know that he has amazing raw recipes for pizza and stuff. You can also do things like banana pancakes. Right now, this is a little bit of apple puree that I have saved from juicing apples. And I, so when you strain off the apple juice, which you have left over, I slap on here and I can make little fruit strips for my kids that they absolutely love. And they're getting all the vitamins and nutrients still because I'm dehydrating at a maximum of 115 degrees to make sure everything stays intact. If you see frozen fruit, grab it. You don't have to do anything else to it. It's ready for you, for you to be making smoothies. Just calculate out how many that you're gonna need for the days to come and get that much frozen fruit so you can have fruit every single day. This is the easiest way, guys, to get your fruit in. Any bulk items that you need for nutritional value, like spirulina, I've got Brazil nuts here. You can also do freeze-dried fruit powder. Supplements, I cannot say enough about supplements. If you are trying to be health conscious, you need to have supplements. Make sure, for example, that if you are using salt like I do, that you are getting iodine in your diet some other way. So if it's not coming through supplements, you're not getting it. And you don't want anything happening unforeseen from a vitamin deficiency. If you are not even planning on getting pregnant, but the possibility is there, you want to make sure that you are taking enough vitamins that would equate to what you need in a prenatal at all times. Please do not slack off on that. We want to make sure that if any babies are coming, that they are as healthy as possible and you are as healthy as possible for the pregnancy. So I can't stress that enough. And stay out of there. Gardening. I am starting my seeds indoors and having a pretty house is by the wayside right now because I am utilizing every single free space as I can near a window that's going to get sunlight. It's a little too cold outside, so these plants, when they're bigger like this, they go outside during the day to get sun, and then on cold days or at night, they come back in and will usually get covered up, and that way I'm getting a head start on the growing season. I'm going to put a link to a wonderful seed packet that you can get for a really great discounted rate. They are heirloom seeds, non-GMO, so whatever you get from them, you're going to be able to plant it back in once they go to seed. To add to that, I'm going to say if you are buying any fresh organic produce right now, something that you really love, like for example, a jalapeno pepper, save the seeds. Don't waste anything because if you can't get jalapenos later, you can grow your own most definitely. Some places are still cold enough to be doing winter crops such as lettuce and spinach, kale, cilantro get those in your ground and get going and yes i know i have a lot of weeds in there as well that i'm taking care of and then other things can get started right now outside such as carrots they're doing really well here herbs grow fantastic almost anywhere have a lot of oregano there so whatever look on your seed packet whatever you can get outside 
get it out now and start on everything else indoors, if at all possible. If you have a nursery nearby, you would be surprised how many small trees are going to start producing now. So this is a nectarine tree. This will have a few nectarines on it this year that we can enjoy. So even the small ones, if you can't afford the 15 gallon, a five gallon, some of those are producing right away. So if you have the space for it, that's a wonderful thing that you can add to your diet, fresh off the tree, nothing better. If you've been on my channel, you've seen me do a video on this tree before. This is our flowering plum tree. It is not supposed to have plums. It definitely doesn't make plums like you would find in the grocery store, but it does make edible plums. And if you have something in your neighborhood or in your yard that no one is utilizing and just letting the fruit fall to the ground, utilize it. This is amazing, wonderful fruit full of nutrients. So why let it go to waste? Another thing I'm gonna say about foraging is you probably have stuff right in your lawn if you have a lawn or by the side of the road that you can utilize. My lawn is full of dandelions and not only are the leaves nutritious, you can even eat the flowers. And before anyone's gonna say something about stealing from the bees, my entire neighborhood is a dandelion paradise, so they are not going to go without food if I come out and I pluck a little bit and harvest a little bit every night for our dinner to supplement what we're eating. But you've got so many edible weeds in this world that go crazy in our lawns. Don't dig them up, harvest them. Pretty soon places like in the Northwest are gonna have berries by the side of the road. That's another great option. And if you live in a desert, before you say that there's nothing there, there is. I mean, these come off of a barrel cactus. They are edible. They taste great with lime juice. Another thing I wanted to say here is if you're collecting fresh fruits and vegetables, you're gonna to have to make some sacrifices at this time. And one of the ones I chose to make was to get some juice like this. As soon as I crack this open, these are going in the freezer to make sure that they last forever. So instead of stocking up on fresh lemons and fresh limes, that's a sacrifice that I have made. Um, other choices you might have to make if you're a raw vegan is to supplement your diet with other things like oats and beans and it's not ideal and it's not what we want to do but the last thing we want to do is to go through our days with not enough calories and be having problems because of that so even think about sweet potatoes they last in the cupboard for a long time if you can stock up on sweet potatoes that's another great thing to do to get enough calories in this is the seed packet. I'm gonna put the link for it below. It's a survival garden heirloom seed. So just like I told you, you're gonna be able to eat what comes from here and also replant it without having to worry about the seeds not germinating. So this is gonna be having your pantry full for the entire year once you get started. So another thing you may want to do is check out videos on how to make raised beds, get the supplies for that. If you still have time to go to stores like Lowe's and get those materials, uh, I will put a link below for how to fill a raised bed for almost free, because I think that's gonna be very helpful for some of you. We're trying to make sure that our money is going to the wisest purchases as possible, and you don't wanna be spending hundreds of dollars on dirt when you don't have to. Thank you so much for watching this video. I am sorry I haven't been making videos for a lot while. I am just enjoying being a mom and being at home and taking care of my family. So this is gonna be more of the same. I'm just gonna have to make um, judicious, how can you, I can't say that word. I'm just gonna have to be making more judicious there we go, it came out. Choices on what we're doing for meals, a lot of meal planning and making sure that we have the items that we need and going down to a minimum and just being very basic. Okay, what are our three favorite lunches? What are our four favorite breakfasts? That type of thing. And being able to plan and make wise choices from that. I hope you are doing the same. I wish you and yours all the best health and sanity throughout this time and that this is just a time for um, peaceful self-care, self-growth, and that we are spending time loving on others, even though it's from a distance, that we are loving on others and not just being self-centered during this time, even though it's very important to take care of ourselves. While we are taking care of ourselves, we are doing it in order to take care of others. And may that be 
what is on our heart during these next days, weeks, and months, that this isn't just all about us. Whatever we're doing, we're doing it out of love for everyone else as well. So take care, look out for each other, and may God bless you.